Producing food has a surprisingly high environmental impact, so it's really important that we waste as little as possible. But when we do have leftovers, it's also really important what we actually do with them. If you put food in your black bin, it's going to go into landfill, possibly, where it gets buried and creates methane, which is a bad greenhouse gas, actually worse than carbon dioxide. Or it'll be incinerated. The trouble is food is very much high water content and it just doesn't burn very well at all. So the totally best thing to do with your food waste is to compost it via your council's curbside composting system. You can home compost as well, of course, and we'll come to that in a minute. So you can line your pot with a compostable bag if you want to keep everything clean. You don't have to use a bag. And where do you get these bags from? Well, you can actually get them for free from supermarkets such as the Co-op or Waitrose, or you can buy them. You can buy the roll of them in any supermarket. These ones from Aldi cost 7p each. So you're going to put, you can put things like um, leftover porridge in your pan or any plate scrapings at the end of a meal like this into this bag. So everything can go in the cups of a composting except fats, oils and liquids. And if you have got uh, leftover cooking oil, um, please don't put them down your sink. And you can just collect it in a pot like this. And uh, when the pot is full, um, just seal it up tightly, double bag it and put it in your black bin. For, the, for your raw fruit and veg, if you home compost, I would put those in your com home compost pot. And if you've got banana skins, just remember to take the stickers off because they don't compost very well. So when your bag is full, we're going to take this out to curbside. And this, believe it or not, is going to turn into beautiful compost that is used by local growers. And it means they don't have to buy so much fertilizer. So your curbside compost will either go in your standard wheelie bin, green bin here, or you can order a smaller curbside caddy. Your home compost is going to just tip straight into your home compost bin. No bag in this one, because home compost don't get hot enough to break them down properly. And then finally, any cooking fats are going to go in your black bin, and also any large red meat bones that you might have as well. This information is all for West Berkshire residents. Other areas may be slightly different. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment or make any questions below.